we we're very confident with Zaka in the middle and we know in the future he's going to be an excellent top two center for us and he showed that tonight. Coach, uh, first playoff game for Tyler Bertuzzi there, but it seems like he's just a type of player that's made for the playoffs. So what did you think about how he performed? Yeah, when we acquired him, we thought he was a guy that was made for the playoffs. And, you know, I thought his first shift, he laid out two huge hits, and he just kept making plays. Like, the puck seems to follow him, and he makes plays. He makes real good decisions with it. Jim, is that kind of the third period, you, your formula for the season? It seemed like you just get the lead and kind of bottle them up. Yeah, our third period was our best period of the game. I thought our first five, six minutes were good. But after we scored that power play goal, we just uh, maybe we had two good shifts after it. Then we kind of had a lull in our game. <clears throat> Give credit to uh, Florida because they started to, you know, really work us down low and their forecheck got to high and they, they went hard to our net. Jim, uh, when the Charlie Coyle line is going the way it does, like, what does it do to the opposition and what does it do for your team? Well, I mean, I think it it's hard to match up. That's what it does for the other team. What it does for our team, it just gives us energy. <clears throat> Same thing with the Noshik line. They had some great shifts, and, you know, I put that uh, – I know it was a disallowed goal, but that was an incredible shift by – and that's the depth we have, right? That I can move people around, have Hathaway, Noshik, and Coyle go out there and kill a minute of uh, three and a half minutes left in the game. Maybe it wasn't the ideal past week for, for Linus, but what did you think of his play right off the bat to kind of like, give you guys a chance to sort of ease into the game? Well, I thought he was excellent. <clears throat> I thought he was cool, calm, just real confident, seeing the puck really well. Steering rebounds. It, it looked like there was a lot of chaos at our net. The pucks were taken from, they took a lot of shots from bad angles, and he's just great with steering pucks to bad areas or smothering them up. So it really provides us a lot of confidence and allows us to uh, control the chaos, so to speak. Jim, I'm sure it wasn't easy to take Grizzly out of the lineup, but why did you feel it was optimizing your defense to put Forbert in? Well, Forby's so good at, uh, you know, D-zone coverage and um, his penalty kill, you know. And he showed that today. And, you know, down the stretch there with the last four to five minutes, you know, he's out there with Carlo killing a lot of important minutes for us, especially in the pulled goalie situation. Jim, was there an adjustment to uh, playoff hockey right off the bat a little bit, the difference between that regular season and also how good is it to be up one game to none in this series? I mean, uh, you know, results matter more than <clears throat> the process right now because our process, you know, uh, when we look at our five on five game, we, we're not very happy with our process. So we can get better there, but the result was really good. And I think the result comes from we had some players play really well, especially our goaltender. <clears throat> and I think when you look at how we started the game. I thought I really liked our first six minutes, but the intensity of playoffs, it was, it surprised us a little bit. And I think we had a little bit of nerves. Jim, they had some, they had some luck against you during the regular season, but that eight or 10 minute stretch there in the second period after the Marshan goal, is, is that a, is that a product of what you've seen before from them and able to push on the four check like that? Or was that something new? Yeah, I think their four check has uh, gotten better throughout the year. I think they're really committed to it. And I think that, you know, <clears throat> we didn't handle that push great, but our goaltender 